Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat, back at it again with another video. Trying to do some generic YouTube gamer intro, but uh, I guess cringe aside, um, yeah, this is going to be the second episode of my Neat Ascension series. Thankfully, my parents are asleep right now, so I can, you know, not sound like a fucking robot when I speak. And although I probably still sound like one, but um, yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, so last episode, since I talked about, um, I guess my hopes and dreams were for this, um, series and what I wanted to achieve in life and, you know, get out of, I don't know, my current situation and with all the free time I have being neat. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about my strengths as a person. When I say strengths, I'm being pretty generous with the definition of the word because um, I'm not actually really strong or good at anything. You know, at most, I'm not I'm not entirely shitty at some things. Yeah, so anyways, I would say my first strength as a person is that, well, I am not... Let me think about this for a second. This is probably gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Um, um I guess... I guess I'd say my first strength is that um, I tend to be more artistically inclined. Obviously, I'm not fucking Van Gogh or Picasso or like Mozart or whatever, but you know, I feel like if I were to measure my aptitudes, measure like what I'm good at and kind of like put it on a chart, I'd say that my most of my strengths tend to be leaning towards the arts and less towards things like math, logical shit reasoning biology stuff that's very concrete i'm definitely i feel more of a creative person than anything else um maybe that's why i'm here making a youtube channel instead of actually having a job not nah, i'm just coping um it's because i'm lazy but um in terms of what specifically i'm good at there's like a number of skills that i feel like i'm decent at some of these i'm just gonna list them off well, yeah, for one, I'm sitting in front of a keyboard and I have no idea how to play it properly, but I feel like my musical abilities are decent. They're definitely better than someone who has no experience at all, although they're not definitely not professional in any way and definitely not as good as other people, especially when it comes to playing. But I'd say I have some like semblance of like musical talent within me. When I was a kid, I was able to sing pretty decent. I can't sing anymore because puberty fucked my vocal cords up. So I have this really like, you guys have probably heard my voice crack from time to time. So yeah, that's fucking lottery of life screwing me over. But I do have a little bit of musical talent. Um, I figured out how to play chords at least by myself without anybody teaching me. And I did have a little basic music training back when I was in like, I guess like school, like high school, middle school. So I do have that little bit of knowledge and I'd say that as a music producer, um, you know, I'm definitely not amazing by any means, but I think I'm not bad. Like maybe I'm just being too generous with myself, but I'd say I'm not bad. Um, other art skills that I'm possibly good at include maybe like photography. Like I think I take decent photos, especially of scenic stuff. There's photography. Um, I think I have a pretty decent a sense of aesthetics and you know i guess some would say that it's all subjective and stuff and you know preferences are pretty subjective but i'd say that my sense of aesthetics maybe aligns in a way that's very like appealing to a lot of people if that makes sense so i don't know if that's a strength or not personally i think it's something that i could work with because i think it's important to be able to make stuff that other people like especially if you're trying to make money off of it and that's definitely my intention is to make money off of something creative or artistic, preferably music, but you never know what doors will be open for me. Um, um, another thing that I might potentially be good at is um, cooking because I feel like, honestly, I'm actually a decent chef. I personally like a lot of the food that I make. You know, maybe I'm just delusional, but I love eating food. And as a result, I feel like I've gotten to the point where I'm able to cook decent stuff although you know maybe don't take my word for it because i am not the most picky eater but i'd say i'm a pretty decent chef i'd say i'm on par with the eminent daniel lord uh, master chef 
of uh, cooking with Daniel. And um, yeah, I could say I could go toe to toe with him. Maybe, you know, we should have cooking battles sometime over YouTube. Um, I'm fucking retarded. But, um, you know, maybe if I could afford clothes, then I feel like I could show off my sense of fashion. But unfortunately, I'm a broke neat. So for now, just assume that I have no idea how to dress. And I guess I'm kind of good at putting stuff together, like colors and flavors. Like I'm good at pairing things together. So that's another, like one of my creative strengths, I guess. Obviously I could be completely full of shit. I have no idea, but I guess you guys will find out in the coming videos. So yeah, that's my one strength is like my artistic talents. Um, I'd say my second strength would probably have to be the fact that I'm pretty patient as a person and it's hard to say where patience ends and people pleasing begins, but um, I'd say that I'm able to put up with a decent amount of shit and kind of let it slide off of me or even if it irks me somewhat, I'm able to like rein myself in and not do or say anything that I'm, I'm gonna regret, you know, except when it comes to maybe like a few people that I have really bad relationships with. But for the most part, I think I'm a pretty patient guy. And another thing that I'm good at is that I'm, another one of my strengths I feel is that I feel like whenever I start learning a new hobby or ability, although I am a fairly slow learner compared to a lot of people, I feel like my baseline for a lot of things that I've tried seems to be higher than normal. Although maybe I'm just kind of imagining things I've always felt that, for example, when I tried like learning the keyboard, I already had, um, you know, some sort of like intuition that allowed me to, I don't know, perform at a decent level. When it comes to like playing new video games, for example, I'm able to figure things out really fast and, you know, play decently compared to someone who's, I guess, never played the same thing before and who's not me, but I could be wrong about that stuff. I'm just like grasping at straws here, trying to come up with things that I'm actually like potentially good at. Um, another thing that is a strength of mine, I guess, and also simultaneously weakness, but maybe a strength is that I'm really good at mimicking and copying things. And I just, I don't know, when it comes to like, I don't know, like writing, for example, I've always been able to like, maybe like read a, um, I don't know, like a, a sort of like prototype or a, I guess the ideal like, example of what should be written for example like like a mock or like prompt essay or whatever for example I'm writing an essay and i'm fairly good at like copying like the style of writing that is in that prompt and this holds true to a lot of things like i feel like i'm able to um stylistically copy a lot of people and you know i'm actually trying not to do that too much with my youtube channel but um inevitably it does happen I guess because I don't really have a strong sense of identity and I'm able to like fit a lot of different molds, a lot of different roles or whatever, be a lot of different ways pretty easily. So I guess it could be seen as both a strength and a weakness at the same time. Another thing that I'm good at, which I just mentioned is that I'd say my command of the English language is um, pretty, pretty decent. You know, maybe it's because I'm somewhere on the spectrum, maybe a little farther than the average person. So because of that, I'm afforded maybe above average um, language abilities, especially when it comes to the English, English language. And um, I feel like being unilingual also helps. Some people say that being bilingual is better because it exercises more parts of the brain and um, it's more cognitively challenging. But at the same time, I'd argue that a lot of bilingual people would have a stronger command of their own native language if they were to only learn one language at a time but obviously this is probably just me coping and rationalizing the fact that i'm too stupid to learn another language so yeah um there's that i guess i don't know i guess another thing is that i, I know i'm not smart but i'm not stupid either like i don't think i'm stupid maybe i am stupid i'm definitely immature i'm definitely juvenile but i've never thought of myself as stupid and you know i actually did decent in some classes in high school while miserably failing in others. Okay, maybe I'm LARPing when I say that. I haven't really ever failed anything, but just not do like that well in it. For the things that I was good at, I was pretty good and I have been called smart by a few people. I was um, 
my writing was accused of plagiarism several times by like teachers and you know it's kind of like insulting because they're saying it's like saying that they think you're too stupid to write what you just wrote but at the same time it's kind of flattering at the same time because it's like oh wow i was much smarter than i assumed i was and um yeah this is mostly for like english like writing related stuff yeah, so I guess like writing is one of my strengths specifically as a person. So I don't know, maybe it, that might help me in the future. But I'm definitely, obviously, I'm not some fucking like god tier, like Shakespearean wordsmith. Um, I'm really coming across as a nerd right now. Um, no, I'm actually just stupid, but um, what else? Um, yeah, okay, now we're getting to the point of the video where I'm starting to run out of ideas. Um, another one of my strengths is that I don't think this one is innate, but because I was into bodybuilding at around late in high school into like early university, and I did lift pretty consistently and got fairly like chunky, I guess. I say because of that experience, I guess my physique is actually pretty good for somebody who doesn't work out properly, who doesn't hit the weights, who doesn't go to the gym, who doesn't do cardio. And that's because um, I guess my genetics or whatever, my muscles were permanently enhanced by this three year period of where I really got big. I, I ballooned to around 200 pounds and I'd say I was around like 18 to 20 percent, maybe 20, 22, 23 even body fat. But you could definitely see that I was quite like muscular, not the leanest, but pretty muscular. And although I wasn't like strong by any means, I was able to achieve a lot of hy hypertrophy, which means basically um, like muscle gains. So because of that, even though I haven't hit the gym seriously after a crippling back injury that I suffered, I've been able to maintain a lot of those gains. So, you know, maybe that's something that I could work with as well and will hopefully carry over into my future. Like maybe my bone density is improved. Maybe I'll always have at least a decent level of muscle. Um, I seem to have at least a two to four pack at all times thanks to this experience. So um, it's definitely an advantage as far as like looks go you know like and yeah um what else am i good at i um i'm not too sure now i'm starting to run out of ideas um you know i guess i mean decent okay i'm gonna stop like giving all these ca caveat caveats caveats how the fuck pronounce that um about me not being the best but being decent because you know i've been saying that shit over and over again so i'll just you know say it and have some have some fucking um, conviction and just say what I want to say without fucking justifying what I have to say. Um, I'm also a okay gamer. Like it might help me if I ever want to become a streamer at some point or even a game reviewer. I understand enough about games. I feel to have an informed opinion about them as a consumer at least. And um, it definitely helps, I guess. I'm not like some boomer who, who like can't figure out how to walk forward with a WASD like fucking like control configuration but um yeah so there's that um i guess another thing that i guess is sort of a strength is that i feel like i'm able to see to try and see the best in most people um even people that others would um consider unsavable or just completely abhorrent you know people like daniel lord or um who else obviously these i'm not saying that these people are perfect and maybe it, I'm, I'm just being naive, but I feel like I'm able to see the best in a lot of different people and as well as able to get along, I feel with all types of people when I'm not being a socially anxious um, Spurg wreck of an individual. But I guess that's a strength because, you know, maybe it will help me in the future if I ever need to make connections and network. Yeah, um, so now I'm really gonna have to, scr to um, scratch my head and think really real hard about what else I'm good at because um, the list is not very long, or maybe it is. I feel like another strength I have is that I'm, you know, a little bit self-aware. I, I, I feel like I have at least a basic level of self-awareness. I know when I'm being a hypocrite, I think, and I know about all my flaws. Thanks to things like mindfulness that I was introduced to by my aunt, I have a good understanding about emotions and how they interact with the body. And I'm at least somewhat emotionally attuned as, um, you know, as sus as that sounds. I know like men are supposed to be stoic and not feel shit, but I feel like I am aware of my emotions and maybe that awareness will uh, help me catch them and sort of squash them versus, you know, being unaware of them and just being run by all these unconscious drives that 
when most people, including myself, I still am in conscious and not aware on a large level, but maybe my basic level of awareness is somewhat promising for my development as a person. And um, one thing that has helped me or has been a positive about me is, for a long time is that I'm easily able to um, let go of being angry. Um, I am quick to anger, especially when it comes to video games or, you know, like I said before, with certain people who I have sort of like dodgy relationships with, but um, I'm able to get it, forget about it really quickly and I guess calm down pretty fast. Maybe it's not the best thing. Maybe I do calm down too fast, but it does help me, um, you know, be in a better state of mind, I guess. At least until I recall the person who pissed me off or what they said, and then I get worked up again. But I calm down like within like maybe minutes. And I guess this is a good thing because it helped me sort of move on with my life and, um, you know, do things that are actually productive versus, you know, ruminating over things that piss me off. And yeah, I guess that's another positive thing about me. And I think I'm pretty much done with what I have to say about listing my positives. I definitely have a lot of things that I have to work on, which is what I'm going to talk about in my next video. I was going to do one about, you know, all my weaknesses as a person, but I've already been talking about that stuff in my other videos. So I'm just going to let my other videos do the talking as far as that stuff goes. And um, anyways, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed what you watched. And um, I'm eventually going to start doing all like exercise and more interesting shit. I probably said this in my last video, but this series will get more interesting, interesting I promise. And, you know, I'm just going to say that, you know, it feels nice to talk about positive things about myself because oftentimes e even these things that I've mentioned are things that I'm also highly insecure about and skeptical, but I guess evaluating them in a more positive light kind of makes me feel better about myself and less likely to, I don't know, rope in the near future. So, you know, I encourage you guys to maybe try the same thing out, maybe fucking keep a journal or something and write stuff that you think you're good at down. I'm just doing it in video form because it's part of my channel. But yeah, um, I guess that's all I have to say for now. Um, this is Comfy Neat signing out. And yeah, peace.